Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Theoni and this is Thrifty Divas. And this is a continuation of the first part of the Dollar Tree haul that I did. So if you missed that part, make sure you go check that out because that was a nice big one. Don't know how long this one's gonna be, but let's just continue on. I didn't wanna make the other one, you know, 40 minutes. So here we go. So I found these gift boxes, these two packs of gift boxes by Christmas House, and I had to get them. Um, Lee, have you seen these? Because I think you would love these too. So this says, Happy Holidays, and it has the little dachshund. Chris from Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons too. It has the little dachshund with the Christmas hat. So that's the first box you get. And the second box you get is actually my favorite. So it says, Woof Woof. It has all these gorgeous dogs. It says a little bit of the Happy Holidays. And then it says, Felice Naughty Dog. Yeah. So I just loved those. And I picked up two packs of those because I love them so much. <laughs> it even has the fire hydrant wrapped in Christmas lights. And then I did find these Pillsbury family size. This is a 22 ounce box of the cinnamon roll, roll fillows, cream filled cereals. This is the only one I've been able to find. There is also a Hershey's one, a Hershey's fillows, and they're chocolate filled with cream. That's what I really want to find. But I only found these, so I did get four. I got four because between myself, my husband, and my son, somebody will love them, I'm sure. And a dollar for a family size box, you can't beat it. Then I also found only this variety but this is the general mills frankenberry cereal and it does come with free pumpkin carving stencils oh 10 to download seaside for details um so yeah and then it's got activities on the back like the good old days and these are only 9.6 ounce boxes so they're not huge but again this kind of stuff for a dollar you can't beat it so i got three of these the frankenberry cereal sorry for my bending then i was able to find a one more cake boss item and this is the hey i'm icing here it's a six piece decorating tip set I don't necessarily need these because i have cases and cases of decorating tips because I am an avid cake decorator, I was a Wilton Method instructor and taught classes at Michael's and AC Moore and all those places. Um, but for a dollar, I couldn't help myself. So you get those five tips and a coupler for your bag. So I grabbed one. I was like, should I get another one? I don't. But then I was like, I don't. I don't even need this one. But for a dollar. I was like, okay, backup tips whenever I need them because you cannot touch this for a dollar. Okay. Then uh, we don't really have a crafting section yet um, in any of my 13 stores. But we'll see little new items pop in here and there. And one of the things that I found was this Crafter Square 10 piece wood shapes. And this happens to be a little Brontosaurus. And you get 10 wood pieces there. It does, it is stamped with Greenbrier International on the back of all of them, which kind of blows, but whatever. Um, but I, I couldn't resist and I figured I'll do something with this. Even if I make string garland or for my son's room, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking if he still likes dinosaurs by next year, by next October, I'm gonna do his party in the dinosaur theme, so maybe I'll save it for that, we'll see. And then I grabbed three bags of these because I think my husband will devour these. They seem right up his alley. So this is a three ounce bag of the Stacy's pita chips in the cinnamon and sugar. So I grabbed three of those for my husband. And then I grabbed two of these. I feel like, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like they don't have these that often. And these are like really big bags. So these are the canine carryouts. And this is a full five ounce bag. 
So I got the chicken, the grilled chicken flavor strips, and then I got the bacon flavor strips, both five ounce bags. And um, it says produced in Topeka, Kansas and distributed by Big Heart Pet Brands in California. So I'm pretty sure these are all US, what is that? Produced in Parham, Minnesota. Yeah, I feel like I just said, oh, yeah, they're different. These are produced in Parham, Minnesota. These are produced in Topeka, Kansas. I'm like, I feel like I just said something different. <laughs> but in any case, they are US made dog treats okay then I showed these in a walkthrough a little while back because this stuff has been sitting in my car for way too long um, so I got these crushed velvet makeup bags they also had a baby pink but I got this smoky purplish crushed velvet one and this burgundy wine color crushed velvet one these are very nice can you hear it what you're hearing is this beautiful nice plastic liner okay anybody who does makeup and knows that's amazing because if your any liquid makeup breaks or anything or leaks it won't go all over everything it's good for pens too because if a pen leaks or you know a, a marker or anything like that you won't destroy absolutely everything so there's a nice hard plastic liner in there the reason why i picked these up my mom's birthday is monday um <clears throat> so I think we're going out Sunday to celebrate it but if you remember in my last weekend's haul I bought those through the decades um makeups for her I got her the 20s set and the 40s set so I'm actually going to put each set in here I feel like I'll put I don't know the 20s in this one the 40s in this one or vice versa I don't know tell me what you think what goes better with the decades which one leave it in the comments down below for fun um, but I think that's how I'm gonna present it to her then speaking of if my son still is obsessed with dinosaurs by next October um, I found the little the smaller size 6.87 inch um, dinosaur plates I have already bought the big ones and I have already bought the napkins so I'm just kind of stocking up on these just in case so I did buy four of them um, worst case he eats off of them here so I figure again no harm no foul I'm waiting I, I have a feeling I'm hopeful that the cups are gonna trickle in the tablecloths gonna trickle in maybe some other things and it'll be awesome so I picked up the little ones because it was the first time I saw them. And then this was definitely on my wish list item and I dropped this one so the box opened. So this will be mine and that is fine. Does this come? Now I can see. I'm wondering if this comes with a, a, a spatula because it didn't say it on the package. That is odd. Normally you don't find packages of masks this big that don't come with a spatula. But whatever i have so that's okay but i'm just thinking for gifts so this is the global beauty care mega star glitter charcoal a peel off mask and it's a full i dropped another one on the floor a full five ounces this is why i'm dropping them on the floor because i pay five cents a bag for high quality bags uh yeah so i got five of them because they're a great addition to any girly gift basket or secret Santas at work or anything like that. I'm looking for an expiration. I don't see one, so okay, cool. Good, good. Yeah, so five. Then I was also on the hunt for these. This is A&R, which is Allie and Rose. And these are they're distributed in North Carolina they're made in Thailand um, but this is the handmade sponge toffee and dark chocolate with sea salt made with real honey this is 
This reminds me of the Cadbury Crunchy, something like that it's called. I get it from like Uncle Giuseppe's. I don't know if you guys have those or if it's just a local thing, but um, that's what it reminds me of. And I'm assuming it's very, very similar. So it's a very get stuck in your teeth type of honey, a very airy honey toffee in the middle um, and covered in dark chocolate sprinkled in sea salt. And this is almost two ounces, right under two ounces. And I did grab five of those as well because I thought these are great additions to Secret Santa's stockings, gift baskets, anything. And it looks really not a dollar, right? That's what I think anyway. All right, let's see what we have in here. A lot of repeats, so. Um, I picked up this purple little vase for my desk at work. I'll put something in it, I don't know. I just thought it was very pretty, and it's purple, so it makes me happy. And then I finally found the third type of nature box soap. It's taken me three completely separate stores to find all three, um, but this is the macadamia oil one. I think my favorite one out of all of them has definitely been the apricot one. It's just my preference because these are very um, sweet and like, I don't know how to explain it, heavy and like cookie-ish to me, the coconut ones and this one, but the apricot one is nice and fruity and crisper to me. But I did pick it up anyway, just because a dollar is such a good deal and I already gave one to my mom. Then I finally found these that I've been see seeing people haul forever, and this was the first time I ever saw them, and they are Greenbrier, so what is the problem? But it is this little six-piece mini birthday hats, and I love them. I absolutely love them. So you get two of the blue with stripes, two of the baby pink with polka dots, and then two of the gold with little stars. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So I picked that up, picked up one of these for myself because I never thought about it, but then I saw enough people demonstrating them and I'm like, oh, that's pretty awesome. So this is the wired head wrap, but because it's wired, don't mind my hair. You can make your own little bows you can make it as tight or as loose as you want so you don't have to worry about your headaches. And you can wrap it around a ponytail. I love it. So I finally grabbed myself one. Oh, then I also picked up, I believe two, yeah, two of these home style, these Heinz home style gravies in the pork. I was like, oh, you don't see that every day especially at Dollar Tree. So these are 12 ounce jars. They show them over pork chops. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use them over pork chops, but I don't know, we'll see. But I did get two. And then I picked up these from like the fancy party stuff. These four packs of little tiny baby scoops, clear plastic baby scoopers, um, because I figured maybe if I have like like, you know how I bought 10 bags of the ice cream, the donut shop, no, the, not, not the ice cream, the donut shop candy corn, because it was 25 cents a bag. I figure if I have something like that on my desk at work, something loose candy like that, I'll put this so people don't put their grubby little hands in it. And I believe this might be the last two things because everything else in here is multiples of something I've already shown you. So the last two items I got probably for myself and do I need them no I do not but they were new and they were fun and I was like ah so and I also feel like pouches give me a false false sense of being organized and having my beep my peep together I don't know if anybody can relate um, but anyway so these were the only two colors this came in so this is a pink marbly swirl with a gold accent if you can see that Let's see what the inside looks like. I didn't even check. This is almost like a soft, like a fleece. 
So not the plastic lined, but very soft and fleecy, if you can see that. Uh, so I got it in the pink and it's like a white vinyl. And then I got it in this turquoise with the gold accent on the white. And this is what those tags look like. And if anybody needs a skew, there you go. Uh, yeah, so grab those. So that's it. That is going to be the rest of the haul, guys. And good thing I didn't put it together because it would have been like a 40 minute video. So that is all for Dollar Tree for now, but you know there will be more and I will probably acquire more today and tomorrow because it is the weekend. Don't know when I'm showing this, but it is the weekend for me right now. So if, uh, if you haven't seen it already or if I haven't posted it yet, who knows? Because I don't know what order. Make sure you stay tuned for the Shop Miss A-Hole with a uh, package that I got from Kathy Chow. So I'm going to combine those together. And uh, I have a very exciting Julia Artisan jewelry review video coming up for everybody. So make sure you check those all out. Uh, if you're a subscriber and you haven't hit that notification bell, make sure you do so so you don't miss anything uh, coming up anytime I post or any of my exciting giveaways. And there will be another one coming up very, very soon for Christmas because I want to make sure you have those in time to be able to use them for the month. Um, so yeah, so that is it for me. If you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to consider smashing that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family because I think if you ask any of my subscribers, we have a lot of fun here. So that's it for me, guys, and Hennessy. And until the next video, uh, stay blessed, everybody. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today.